Yesterday, I shared an entry from Anglesey's 1917 diary that told us all about her sister Anne's wedding. The Hewlett family was part of Long Island's high society, so lots of newspapers covered the event too. Of course, you should definitely listen to Anglesey's full entry first, but here are what the newspapers had to say. The Brooklyn Daily Eagle had one of the most descriptive articles in their Brooklyn Society section. This article, like the others, talked about how all of the men were in their uniforms. Most of them had just enlisted in the past couple of months for the Army and Navy and Marine Corps, and they were all on temporary leave for the wedding. The music of a harp sounded, violins and cello mingled. A great-grandfather clock in the main hall had just chimed the hour of five when the side door of the veranda opened and the bride stepped into view. She seemed almost like a vision of the past in simple white organdy, with orange blossoms from which a plain net veil fell in folds to the hem of the short gown. The bridal party, the familiar music of Lohengrim playing, came slowly around the house and passed up the broad carpeted steps of the flag-hung, flower-decked porch, where bridegroom and best man, both in white uniforms, were waiting. Maid of honor and bridesmaid stood out prettily in this martial array in frocks of blue organdy, fashioned like the bride's with ruffles to the waist. To make the effect complete, the bride cut the wedding cake with her husband's sword at the supper. The sun was just setting when the guests assembled two lines on either side of the steps to shower farewells and confetti upon the departing bride and bridegroom. The bride, with a laugh, ran down the steps and with her bridegroom quickly disappeared into a waiting motor car. I love being able to match up entries from the diary with other accounts like newspaper articles. I hope you enjoy hearing them too.